Hey y'all, this is Dakin for another mana rebuild. Uh, I've taken an idea from uh, one of my campmates, uh, Ramirez, who said, uh, suggested that we go for a uh, science base, uh, and this is my attempt. This is my attempt at a science base. Uh, the tables are not part of a science base. Uh, one of my catmates, uh, Laurentian, uh, posted the tables that he had, so I basically copied him. So here we have the uh, Code Z walls, Code Z uh, diagonal walls, glass floors, the glass parts from the last couple of uh, couple of events ago um, including the roofs the louvers uh, and of course the floors and stairs so we'll show you what we've got my catmate had a frameless glass wall which looks good so I've used that we have security desk and there's a computer with the light on so that you can see the security guard can see who uh, see who's coming in. Uh, thanks, Ramirez, for that idea. Uh, now, of course, you can't have a glass window like this in the an open glass window in a Code Z wall. So that is the only wooden wall in this entire build made of norm the normal wood. Uh, here we have the room, security room, so people who aren't authorised get that little cage fall upon them, aka raiders who come in. Cage falls upon them. There's the desk, security guard can get in. Hello, where's your pass? We have four computers on this table, four computers on this, all doing their uh, futuristic hacking and experimentations and well, whatever they want. Here's the TV on the wall that shows all the current updates. Uh, ideally, you prog could get two or three, two walls and put uh, four TVs on just to sort of make it uh, look pretty cool if you really wanted to but that's okay uh, for lack of a bathroom there's the bathroom behind the main wall hope no one's shy we've got out here a smoking deck for those who want to be antisocial um, and smoke so we're going to do work here and come outside. Uh, you may notice I don't actually have the Code Z door, so I've got no doors in this manner apart from the double sliding or sliding glass doors. In this section, uh, there's the stairs going up leading to sliding doors for an outside area. Birds in. This is the kitchen serving area, cooking, the two window boxes, bigger cabinet, fridge, etc. to serve people meals and play some music or sit down, fireflies at night, more dancing, music, a couple of tables to sit at, a couple of Images to contemplate the lights. On the outside we have another door. I put this the half glass wall over here. Um, I've only got the one half glass, and it does act as a sort of a, a barrier to people who might want to snipe inside. That's okay. Inside here we go up, more railing, 
Now, because these have a height differential, the floors have a thickness. You can see that's the normal floor. There's at least that much thickness. That's half the floor. So this uh, this railing sits on this floor. However, when you try and put railing on the square floors, it sinks down to normal level. Therefore, you have this height differential. Um, I haven't been able to figure that out, but never mind. Also, you might notice there's a gap in that wall, which annoys the hell out of me, but never mind. Come inside here. Here's the Star Sage for the more sciencey stuff. We have a four panel wall there because I ran into glass floors. Um, and we have the curved windows here, straight windows there because I ran out of curved, couldn't be bothered making any. Those there. Yeah, look at the picture. Think, wash your hands. Build lots of stuff. Right away. And I've got a louver out here, so people coming in. And this is the bedroom. We've got the uh, wall, the uh, crystal wall, snow crystal wall, whatever you want to call it, uh, from this event. I'm hoping I might just scrape up enough to get a second one. I think that would be cool, having another one here. Privacy of the morning to eat. I've put the louvers along on here in order to get the walls and I've had to put these the eaves all over the place which annoys me but I couldn't figure a way of getting the double walls and I didn't want to go any higher than that. Nice walls here and I haven't put a wall on here so that you go up and you've got the point of the roof here. Look out if you really want to. And the roof up here with two thin globes. That just looks cool. Uh, that's it. Uh, if anyone watches these videos, I'd like to know what you think could also go inside a science base. I think it's a very neat idea. Um, some of these specialist items, such as the Star Sage, you only get in certain events. Um, I'm not really interested in the items. I'm sort of wondering what rooms would you put in a science base. Um, I could, it's a pity that I haven't seen a silver table because then you could make a science lab type thing. Some of these specialist items, some of these fancy items like the, uh, this here uh, might do well on a, on a uh, silver table um, to act as a things you'd find in a science lab, but uh, yeah, the, I put water all the way around, those go out, I put the uh, nanos out here, and of course because it's the season, I've got my slay table out here, around the back, nothing at all, it's just all solid. I didn't want to have anything going inside. Uh, one of the reasons is because of the uh, tables with the computer desks on them. They have to be have a small half wall and then a full size wall like that on top. So I will show you how I did the desks, 
have one of these walls. And then because you can have walls too high, you put that one there. And then you can have this wall on f directly on top. When you put it on, on the rest of the, compare it to the rest of it, you end up with a bit sticking out just like this. And put a uh, floor on top and see how thick that floor is, how it throws out the balances, but that's okay. And a normal floor all the way around. This is a normal floor, not the Code Z floor. Uh, basically because I wanted all the, all the water tile on it without anything interfering. And I've got one tile like this to show the entryway. Nice grey tile. And that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed uh, my science base. I'll be interested to see what uh, comments anyone has about what else to add into a science base. Um, that's what I came up with. Uh, if anyone else has a has a link for their, their science type base, uh, post it below and I'll have a look. Thank you very much. Everyone have a good day. Bye-bye.